Evening everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into fitting this a bath four litre sump to the engine in the blue Fiat. This is your standard sump here. Now I want to say it's about two and a half litres. I will double check that. And here is upside down the a bath four litre sump. And that I want to fit to that, but not this engine, the engine in that. Don't worry, it does get less confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the depth of this versus the depth of that. From that, I will be able to calculate how much ground clearance I will have left on that when I fit that on that in there. Got it? If I measure the height of the standard sump there, we are looking at the flange being a nine and a half centimeters. If I measure the flange on this one, or rather the flange to the bottom of the cooling fins, we are looking at 12 centimeters. So that is two and a half centimeters deeper. So whatever the ground clearance is on the blue car currently, it's going to come out two and a half centimetres close to the ground or about an inch close to the ground. Now, as well as being a lot deeper than that, you can see that this has got a much, much thicker flange on top of it. So this is a cast aluminium oil pan sump. That is a pressed steel one. This is a lot stiffer a lot of thicker flange, can get away with not using a gasket on this and instead using gasket sealant so I don't have to bother cutting up any gasket paper to go on there, so that's good. Uh, downside is that is one of the standard bolts from here. And as you can see, it's way too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order up some nice X-headed or allen headed longer deeper bolts to go in here again for when i fit it problem number two because there's always more than one problem this is a standard oil pickup pipe it's not the one off that engine it's just one i've got kicking about spare now that would normally sit quite close to the bottom of the sump there in fact that's why it's got that little rubber foot on it so the oil is going to stay quite close to it. Now, the problem with this is obviously this is this is a fixed point in space. This is bolted onto the inside of the block. So as the sump, the bottom of the sump gets lower, this doesn't get any closer to it. So you're going to end up with potential problems of oil sloshing about. Yeah, granted, there's going to be more oil in there, but it's potentially going to slosh away from the pickup pipe on hard acceleration. Not that this can really do much in the way of hard acceleration, hard braking or turning. You can see there are little standoffs here where you could put a baffle plate in there. They also do little extenders for this. Um, it's like a spring loaded sort of circular type thing. And what it's designed to do is to extend that pickup. Now it doesn't actually extend the pickup so much as it creates its own little baffle around there to make sure that there's always um, oil around there. It slows the, uh, slows the flow down. So what I'm going to try and do is knock up something similar as this is a spare one. What I'll probably do is fold up a sheet of metal with some holes punched in it and I'll just weld it to these three sections around the outside, giving that an extension. I'm not going to extend it by the full two and a half centimetres, but I'll probably make it about two centimetres deeper and longer than it originally is. Um, because with this pickup pipe being the shape that it is, there's no real straight area that sits straight down for me to weld an extension in. If I want to make this two centimetres deeper, I'd have to extend this so much in this plane here to get that distance that it would end up poking through the edge and it just generally wouldn't fit 
Um, so I'm just gonna try and create my own little baffle there. Question on everybody's lips should be, why even bother? Well, it's an air-cooled motor. Air-cooled motors do most of their cooling via these fins here. You can see that as this has the cooling fan and the shrouds all removed, what actually happens is cool air is blown across these fins here. But it's basically the oil that does most of the cooling. So by increasing the sump capacity, you're increasing the volume of oil that's in the engine. It's gonna move around more. If there's more of it moving around, it's gonna spend more time in here. There's cooling fins and there's air blowing over it. And that is going to help the motor keep cool in the perilously hot summer temperatures of Southeast England. As we've already established, the deeper four litre sump is three and a half centimetres deeper than this one so we can establish what the new ground clearance is going to be and whether or not i'm going to have any issues with that currently we've got what about six inches of ground clearance as the sump is pretty much the lowest point of the car and if we remove three and a half centimeters from that we'll have just a shade under five inches ground clearance which i think should be okay because the suspension in here is pretty stiff. So we'll go with that.